I want you to please give a warm welcome to somebody that has dedicated his life to quantum medicine. He's going to talk at, in, in greater depth about it and has a wonderful PowerPoint presentation. Uh, please give a warm welcome to Dr. Rivera uh, Duginio, who is Dr. Jerry to me. So here you come, Dr. Jerry. <laughs> thank That's you fine. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I want to thank Fran and uh, Susan for inviting me here this year. Uh, let's play uh, a game here. I challenge you and I invite you to take your cell phone and just shut it off. Turn it off. Even if it's on uh, silent mode, just turn it off. Uh, my presentation is less than 15 minutes long and when I'm done, you can turn it back on. Okay. So, my talk is about electrosmog and geopathic stress. These are two invisible dangers that affect our health. 16 years ago, uh, I died due to a cardiac arrest, and I was pronounced dead for three and a half minutes or so, no vitals. And during that time, I was able to have an outer body experience and actually know myself uh, as true energy, okay? Because once we die, and everyone in this room will, you will drop your physical body and return to your true nature, which is energy. And in my field, which is quantum medicine, everything is about energy and information. Think of yourself as an information cloud, a cloud of information. Forget about your skin, bones, fluids, everything. You are a cloud of energy, which is information. And my field, quantum medicine, has to do with restoring the proper flows of energy into our body. Now, uh, my background's in quantum physics, but I'm applying the laws in, and, um, let's say, the laws and principles of quantum physics to natural medicine. So, we are much more than our physical body. Would we agree on that? We're more than the physical body. And uh, there have been countless research by Pre Peter Frazier in his book, Decoding the Human Biofield, that proves we are beings of light and sound. Now, in fact, there are uh, very uh, advanced technologies that can actually take a picture of our fields, uh, gas discharge visualization, uh, bioelectronic uh, photography. This is proven science that can actually take a picture of what we truly look like. Now, what is electrosmog? It is the invisible electromagnetic pollution. It is caused by smart meters, cell phones, Wi-Fi, uh, radio, um, uh, microwaves, Bluetooth, etc. This is an invisible killer and this will disrupt the energy fields, the information that is flowing around your organs, your organ system, your immune system. So it's very important to understand that although we live in an advanced uh, age of technology, which, by the way, we are a slave to, right? We, I mean, how many here couldn't go without using the Wi-Fi and cell phone? I doubt one person in this room can do it. Are you with me? So, um, and there's tons of evidence, okay? Uh, in 2016, the National Toxology Program uh, linked cellular radiation to brain tumors and heart tumors. Uh, in 2015, the World Health Organization uh, actually, uh, oh, here it is, actually in 2011, the World Health Organization classified electromagnetic frequency as carcinogenic to the human organism. Okay? So, they're, they're saying that, guess what? All this electromagnetic pollution is bad for us. Now, it damages our DNA. Uh, we're not gonna argue with that. Um, it causes mutations. It activates the cancer cells in our body, and everyone here has cancer cells in our body. Uh, and it damages the brain cells. Radiation damages the brain cells. So. Uh, in 2010, Dr. Blank, a professor at Columbia University, did a study about how electromagnetic fields damage our DNA uh, in our brain. Okay, so this is not pie-in-the-sky science fiction. These are hard research, peer-reviewed papers, clinical trials done on what electrosmog does to us. And there are a ton of uh, 
papers online at PubMed that, you know, tells you how bad the cellular radiation is for the female and male reproductive system. So hopefully, uh, you know, I see females, you know, putting their, in wearing jeans and putting their phones here in their bra, uh, not a good thing uh, if you don't want to have cancer. For men, I see tons of men putting it right near their genitals, and uh, if you want to have kids, I strong, uh, highly suggest you don't do that. And it's, you know, do your research. Self-educate. Bluetooth radiation. I, I know everyone here uses Bluetooth in their cars, but do you know that our car is a, uh, it's metal for the most part, and it is a Faraday cage. It is a container which keeps in the Bluetooth radiation in the car. So it's, it's likened to sticking your head into a microwave and just putting the microwave on for a few seconds. That's what you're doing when you use uh, Bluetooth in a car. And I know there's, you know, people, you know, no texting and driving, no, you know, using the phone. I get it. But perhaps just don't use the Bluetooth. Don't just do one thing, and that's driving, okay? The second invisible danger I'm going to talk about is geopathic stress. And many of you may or may not know what that is. It's natural electromagnetic frequency. It emanates from the core of the planet. Geo meaning earth, pathos meaning disease or suffering. So how many here have heard a saying, location, location, location? Okay? I'm sure you have. Well, it's the same when it comes to geopathic stress because if you are living on a land that is emitting high geopathic stress, it disrupts the flow of energy and information in your body, and it starts to take down your immune system. So I'm not saying you have to move. <laughs> I'm saying take the time to educate yourself and find out if you're living in an area or a piece of land that is uh, geopathically stressed. Now, geopathic stress and uh, Electrosmog has a negative effect on the immune system through the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system transports all the antibodies and lymphocytes through the body. It gets our immune system ready to fight the invaders, to take on the viruses, to take on the cancers. But what happens when the lymphatic system gets taken down, gets compromised from the electrosmog and geopathic stress? The immune system ain't doing anything, okay? So, and this is important, this is an important slide I want you to remember. It's not just about the immune system. The immune system is the one that does the soldier work. It's, it attacks the cancer cells, it attacks the tumors, if it can see it. It attacks the viruses. But more importantly, when it's done attacking, it doesn't heal a damn thing, okay? You have scavenger cells that come and take, you know, that take up the residue, but it doesn't regenerate. What regenerates is a system called the cellular regenerative system, which is poorly studied, by the way, and it was only really uh, brought to light through uh, the late Robert Becker, who was a two-time Nobel Prize nominee. And this is our body's natural electromagnetic system. Surrounding every cell, every organ, every system around the body is an energy field, okay? And it's not the electromagnetism uh, that I'm talking about which is bad for you. It's our natural energy system. This is the system that actually heals you, that actually regenerates you. It's not the immune system, okay? So uh, there is a correlation between cancer, geopathic stress, and electrosmog. Studies have shown over 85% of patients who die from cancer have experienced regular exposure to geopathic stress or electromagnetic frequency.